the one who made all. Good afternoon, coach. Good afternoon. Uh, how do you rate your opponent? Because they beat uh, Mohan Bagan first match. Anybody who comes into uh, Kolkata and beats ATK Mohan Bagan is uh, deserves respect. Um, I think they're a decent side, they've got some interesting players. And like I say, every time we speak here, uh, we respect all, all our opponents. Uh, but we're at home and we'll be looking to get the three points. So you know, uh, I mean, lots of players from Chennai and FC, it's very known to you. So what is your plan? I think it's a very cliche question. <laughs> Still, I will learn. Look, uh, I think this is the fourth game, fifth game. Um, I don't reveal my plans. Um, yeah, I do know a lot of the Indian uh, players there. Some of them have played for me. Um, Narayan Das, Anirudh Thapa. Um, I'm very pleased to see that they've gone on to have um, the careers that they're having, but obviously um, we need to win the game, so um, I'm focused on that, not, not on them. Hi coach, your team started very well in the every match in the first half, but in the concept the goal in the later part, so is that a bit of point to worry? Um, <clears throat> I think I thought we had a very good first half with uh, Ike Mumbagan. Uh, I thought we were the better side. Um, we created uh, more opportunities, um, possibly had more possession. But uh, if you don't convert those chances, then you you pay. Um, I think uh, Ike Mumbagan had one chance with Bumas and scored. Um, this is football. Um, they had a second chance ten minutes later and they scored and we lost two 0 of course, um, every time we concede a goal, we will say it, it, it usually comes from a mistake. Um, this is uh, football, you, you pay for your mistakes. So, uh, I'm not overly worried. I thought we were very good in the previous game, the one. Uh, we were very good for um, a, good, a good period of time against Kerala, and we were very good um, against Goa. Um, it's, it's a new team, I keep saying that. New teams take time. Um, and the improvement is there every week. We get a little better. We need now to make two, two, sec two halves uh, and continue the, the, the first half into the second half. So hopefully we'll do that uh, tomorrow night. Hi, Coach. Uh, what is the English status of your team? I'm sorry? What is the English status? We uh, we have one or two potential injuries. Uh, obviously, we know the Naveen will be out for the rest of the season, and uh, uh, my thoughts with him because uh, to miss the rest of the season at this time is is, is not good. But uh, we will we won't know who is in or out a hundred percent until the last minute. And I'm sorry to tell you. This Shatz from Sports Kira. Uh, Jordan, my question is to you that, you know, obviously this is your first time in India and you're playing in the ISL. So what has been the experience like and what has been, you know, playing in front of the fans like, the Bengal fans like? Yeah, it's been uh, really enjoyable to play in front of lots of fans. It's something that I haven't experienced before, to be honest. The, the game the other night was the most fans I've ever played in front of. And to be honest, I think our fans were louder than the Mahong Bagan fans until the goal, um, but I've really enjoyed uh, experiencing the atmosphere. Uh, Coach, I have another question for you that, you know, obviously, how easy or difficult is it to recover from a loss like the one in the last game, you know, where, like you said, there were two mistakes, uh, you know, one mistake and a wicked deflection that cost you the second goal, but you didn't, the team didn't do much tactically wrong, so how easy or difficult is it to recover from that? That's a good question. Uh, look, if we were playing badly, if we were dominated um, throughout that game, I, I would be worried. Um, but we were not dominated by one of the best teams in the ISL, for sure with the biggest budget in the ISL. Um, and when you dominate a team like that after, shall I say, six weeks, seven weeks uh, as a team, 
um, I, I think that's very positive. Um, of course, we are not happy that we lost. Uh, we always want more. Uh, that's the human nature. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we've said from the beginning that we will try to get better every week. And so far, we have done. Um, and we need a good performance and three points uh, uh, against Chennai. Um, and I think that will make um, everybody more positive. Um, it, it's, it's a tough season, you know. You, you, the messages I got from so many fans was really positive. Um, and that's only because of what the players did on the pitch. Uh, not, not, not because of anything else. They worked very hard. They deserve something from that game, but as I said before, in football you don't always get what you deserve. But um, we, we will try to give the best possible versions of ourselves as we possibly can, and hopefully that, that results in three points. So, unforced error is your problem. Unforced error is your problem of the team. Because I, think, I think when Pumas shot the ball, it was a forced error. <laughs> If he didn't shoot the no, ball. Unfortunately, I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you the FC Goa match. You defend our unnecessary tackle from the midfield. Stand there. No need to take a tackle there. Yeah, that's very easy for us to say now. But in that moment, when the blood is flowing and the game is there, this is football. You, you, you don't want to make the mistake, but you make the mistake. So, um, but I understand your point. Uh, there have been uh, occasions where we have beaten ourselves rather than the opponent has done something unbelievable and beaten us. Uh, those, those are the hardest defeats to take. I can accept when um, uh, you play a big team, you do well, and, and, and they kill you. But it's more difficult when you make a mistake and they beat you. So, yeah, it, that was the, the bad part for us. Good question in the end. Thank you. Coach, though it's too early to ask you that question, but I'm going to ask you. Do you have a chance to rebuild your team in the January transfer window? So, do you have any plan to change any player, especially the foreign player like Ivan? You were right with the question, and you were right with the answer. It's too early. You answered your own question. I can't believe you asked me. <laughs> no, I, at the moment, um, we are just looking forward to this next game. We have November, we have December, uh, and maybe at some point we look to see if we need to change, or if somebody is injured, or they cannot, then we will look at it then. But at the moment, I'm not looking. But still a lot of games left. Are you, uh, uh, are you confident of uh, top six uh, players? I, top six? You know, I don't make that prediction. Uh, what I'm worried about is tomorrow night. I get three points, that means I have six points. How many do I need to be in the top six? I worry about that in February. Uh, Jordan, my question is to you that you know, obviously your duo with Kiriakou in the midfield has been one of the positives uh, in the Bengal side. So what have you thought of him you know, playing alongside him? To be honest, uh, the whole team, we've been working a lot as a team um, on our shape and being more consistent whilst we're defending and also when we're attacking. Um, yes, it's been good playing with Harry in the middle as well because we're getting a good understanding with each other. but. Um, that's for everyone on the pitch, you know. Um, everyone's everyone's learning together about what we want to do. Uh, the Indian boys as well, uh, really beginning to have an understanding on on the way we want to move forward, which is why I think we've been improving game by game. Um, we've been training really hard on, on the training pitch and working on a lot of things um, for this. Mistakes are right. What, 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 what your thought? For me, I like to look at the positives and 
I think the positives are outweighing the negatives at this stage. Um, yes, there may be personal errors. I make personal mistakes as well. Everyone does. This is football. Uh, but if you look at the games and the way that we are improving as a team, like we played against ATK, who are supposed to be the best team in the league, and for this, for 60 minutes we were the better team. Um, there is no easy games in this league, uh, but that's not to say that no one can be beaten either. Um, like I said, all we can concentrate on is on ourselves uh, and the way we continue to improve as a team. And I think that it's very positive um, in training and in the games. We're improving and yeah, I think it's important to look at the positives because we can continue to build and, and hopefully the points will come with us and I believe they will. Coach, uh, before that meet, you said that Sapna should make some noise. And tomorrow the match, uh, Sapna should come to the stadium and then show for his team. But in your opponent team, there, there are so many local boys. They know the atmosphere. Uh, does it, uh, uh, does it, 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 it can be a problem for your, for your team? Because the local boys in your opponent side. Uh, I don't think so. I think um, our fans will make more noise than the other fans, that's for sure. We, we made more noise than uh, ITK Mombagan uh, in, in the last game. So uh, our fans are, have uh, supported us and, and I'm, I'm sure they will continue to support us. So, um, they have a, a few Bengali players in their team. I don't, I don't see that as um, anything to worry about other than the, the, the good players, but, you know, the noise is not going to be a factor. Coach, you spent on seven corner kicks in the last game, and none of the team could utilize any of them. So do you think that's an area concern? Look, uh, I, I, um, we spent time on um, attacking and defending set plays. So uh, it's a concern, of course, I would like to have scored more, but uh, people are defending um, the box quite quite heavily with numbers, so it, it, that makes it more difficult, but uh, we just have to be a little bit more creative. So. Any more questions? Good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, John. Uh, first question for you, Coach. Is that uh, last game after the derby, somebody asked you about luck of your team. But apart from luck, what do you think your team needs to sort of get the ball rolling because it's been sort of an up and down start for you in the season? Is it uh, something tactical? Is it something the mindset of the players? Or is it more about getting better personnel in the January transfer window? Well, that's a good question. Um, up and down. Um, I didn't expect that we would win six, seven, eight, nine games in a row. Um, not, not from where we are coming from. Um, I said that it's a rebuilding process. I said it's going to take time. Uh, we are three, four games in. Um, how many games do we need before everything is perfect? Maybe 20. Um, I don't believe there is perfect. Um, but I believe that every game we are better. Um, the players understand uh, what we're asking them. Uh, they are doing more. Uh, we are creating more chances and example that we can give is possibly the best 45 minutes we've had in the four games was against the biggest, possibly the biggest team in the league, with the biggest budget in the league, um, and we destroyed them for 45 minutes. Uh, now, you've got to say, but you lost the game. Yeah, we did. Um, a, a moment in la a, a, a lapse in concentration, um, yeah, but this is football. Um, we try to get better every week. I think we are doing that. Um, and as long as we continue to go up, you've got to remember where we were last season, and the season before that, and the season before that. Okay, so Rome wasn't built in a day, and a top team is not built in a day. ATK also suffered for many years before they got the, uh, uh, shall we say, the investment. Um, so this is normal all over the world. Manchester City were in the third division. Thank you, Coach. A question for Jordan. Is that uh, Jordan this year uh, there are around 10 uh, 
players from Australia coming in into the ISL, and you're one of them, and you're one of the youngest as well. So, what do you think is the reason behind that more Australian players coming to the ISL? And second part is how has your experience been in India so far? I think obviously the fact that we are class as an Asian player uh, helps with us uh, coming into the league, and because now there are more players from Australia coming into the league. It gives a, a, a better view of the league um, to other players in Australia um, and it's more accessible for us to speak to each other about the league and what to expect and things like this. Um, although maybe we don't all speak to each other like you saw with a little little tussle with Petrados. Um, but no, they, uh, I've really enjoyed my time so far in the league. Uh, obviously, um, there's lots of things that we can prove on as a team and a club, but that's what we're working towards and um, I think we really do have the group for it. Thank you. Any more questions? Can I, can I just... Um, I'd like to um, share a thought with uh, Joy Shankar Saha, uh, who, who passed away in the stadium. I think uh, this is something that um, we need to pay attention to and um, Obviously, from me and the players, um, sincere condolences to him and his family. Um, something like this should not happen in 2022, in my opinion. So, thank you. Yes, I'm okay with that. Thank you. With that, we can end our press conference. Coach Jordan, a photo, please.